Authorities in Zimbabwe's second largest city, Blayo, say they will be merciless with illegal vendors in their bid to clean the city and rid it of illegal activities. This was said by city's town clerk, Christopher Dube, during a meeting with various political parties in the city. The local authority gave illegal vendors and the pushcart operators an ultimatum to vacate the city centre by Wednesday. That has to be a thing of the past. We are going to be ruthless. I know I, you may not want to hear the word youth ruthless, but what else can we say if we have got people whom we are trying to, to educate, who, who are not uh, capable of being educated? So the, uh, the, the consultations that we are making now is to try to make people understand before we, we enforce and we become ruthless. And this time we are going to be ruthless, unfortunately. Uh, the town clerk also spoke on illegal garbage disposal in some parts of the city. As it is right now, uh, western areas, they are far much cleaner than eastern areas. I don't know where this uh, 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 culture is coming from, the culture of dumping. Uh, we have got gentlemen who have been making quite a lot of noise, especially around the east side, Benside Road, dumping almost every day. Now joining us on the line is our municipal correspondent, Vusmuzi Dube, to give us more. A very good day to you, Vusa. How bad is the illegal vending situation in Blayo? Good day, Samantha. Good day to the viewers. Well, uh, the, the vending situation has got out of hand this side in Blayo because we've got uh, the, the, the informal traders. We've turned Fifth Avenue in the CBD into a more of uh, their place of operation and they'll be operating more of illegally. Uh, city council came up with the temporary places where they can operate from, but these uh, informal traders told themselves that no, we're going to take over Fifth Avenue without the consent of the local authority. Our Fusa council has given vendors up to Wednesday to vacate the CBD. Is this a proportionate and rational response? Uh, whilst I understand the position of the local authority, but I think. Uh, Putting an ultimatum, giving out such an ultimatum, it, it becomes very difficult because uh, 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 to some extent the local authority is to, is to blame for all this. We've got a local authority which closed off a Gordini bus terminal, which is the main bus terminal where these vendors used to operate from. And since 2016 and up to now there is no movement in reopening that, that, uh, that bus terminal. So where are they going to chase them away from, away to? So it's, uh, it's, it's a, a catch-22 situation. All right, Vusa, you also spoke of uh, the other spaces that they had allocated uh, for vendors. Uh, does this alternative vending spaces accommodate all these vendors? It's, it's, it's not about the issue of accommodating them. It's about the location of the sites. Because the vendors, their argument is we want to be located where our customers are. The local authority is uh, allocating them a places which are in the outskirts of the city. So it becomes difficult even for them in their business sense. So I think even in coming up with this temporary site, the local authority didn't consult with the vendors whether uh, will you be able to operate on how best will you be able to operate on from this site from? Okay, now before you go, Fusa, let's take a look at the rate payers. What are their sentiments towards this move by council? The issue is the ratepayers are also, they want their city back. They want the city back because uh, Fifth Avenue, uh, in the, at the onset of COVID-19, Fifth Avenue was uh, open for vehicular uh, movement. Uh, now the residents are saying, listen, we pay rates. We want the city to be clean. We want the vendors to be given proper operating places. So the ratepayers, rate they really want the city. They want, they want their city back. All right, uh, thank you very much, uh, Vusmuzi, for this uh, update. That was our municipal correspondent, Vusmuzi Dube, giving us uh, a detail of what's happening in Blayo uh, with the city council. Now, meanwhile, the local authority and vendors are locked in a meeting to map the way forward. Blayo Vendors and Traders Association Executive Director Michael Ndiweni said council should also consider the livelihoods of the vendors when enforcing the law. Blower in Pumal Economic Working Group, they are sitting as I speak uh, somewhere in town to come up with a position. So if I comment now, I'll be commenting on my own, but we, we've been engaging with our city council as the working group, as associations. So we uh, want to come up with a common position. But the long and short is that there has to be 
a balance between livelihoods and enforcement. And this is what I, I also shared with them. So my thinking is that whatever whatever you're discussing, there has to be balance between livelihoods and, uh, and the enforcement. Oh.